learn how to create a glass morphism effect in after effects in a force shape so you can create your own ui animation and whatever you want with this effect so basically you have to add your video or image your background into the after effects timeline and the first job go to shape layer and create a rounded rectangle and create a a shape a rectangle circle whatever you want also you can import your own animation ui design and also you can if you are creating the rounded rectangle you can adjust the roundness here anyway so we are done with the first step now the second step apply the blur so go to fx and go to fx blur and sharpen and apply the gaussian blur into our shape layer so you can increase the blurriness and convert into a adjustment layer now you can see if you are increasing the blurriness you can see the background will be blurry only on the below of our shape layer now duplicate this you can re rename the layer name into blur it's easy for your workflow now the third step duplicate the same layer control d is a shortcut and rename into stroke or fill whatever you want and also remove the adjustment layer option from here and gaussian blur also remove so basically it's just a fill shape layer now go to uh, fill and change into gradient and also you can change the gradient color into little gray and change the opacity into a little less than 50 and yeah something like this now also you can try the same thing for the stroke and change the value into two pixel or one pixel it depends on your composition's resolution anyway also you can adjust the stroke position here and also you can adjust the stroke color something uh, like the white in the starting and the ending and middle will be little gray so you will get a, a white uh, white edges on your shape so that's the thing now the problem if you're moving it won't come along so the step four we have to parent and we have to rig properly so parent this blur with the stroke now if you select this it will move along with your yeah everything will move together now the problem if you are scaling down it won't affects properly so there's a rig you have to rig this system so it's very easy to animate also once you drop down all those things so basically we have to connect this rotation to rotation position to position to do that click all hold on the alt and click that stroke watch icon now the just parent your layer with the exact same value on the stroke so basically you just have to parent in expression now if you are changing the value of the stroke both sides will adjust together so basically you got a very a rigged shape layers now we have to add another adjustment layer and go to fx and noise and grain and apply noise so this is to add little realism so now the problem you can see the noise all over the scene and composition now just duplicate the blur and move into top of the layers and delete the gaussian blur and remove the adjustment layer option and change the name into mask basically we are using the same thing as a mask and just mask your noise layer with that mask layer now we can yeah change you can adjust the noise value here yeah that's all so basically you got a nice a glass morphism effects so now you can animate and whatever thing you want